Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Jam, and we're back. Another episode of Attack on Titan. I cannot remember these episode n numbers anymore. Uh, nine? Nine, I think we're on? Yeah, last week's episode. Great, man. We got some uh, much needed insight on the situation with uh, how our guys, Parody, got linked up with Zeke and his little crew that he's, he has going on right now. So, um, much needed insight. And we also got, you know, a quick introduction to Anyang Capone. Um, not introduction, really. We kind of saw him before, but, you know, we got a quick, you know, wise, a few wise words from the boy. Uh, and yo, thank you for all the views on that last video. Really do appreciate it. I know I, you know, I did a little bit of, you know, the whole blacked thing. You guys thought it was, a few of you thought it was funny. A few of you guys thought I was fucking dissing Sasha. Guys, relax. It's a fucking show. All right. Calm down, bro. We're making jokes over here. We're trying to have fucking fun. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, for this episode today, I didn't check out the preview, so. Uh, for this episode today, I have no clue where we're kind of really going, but it, I don't know. I'm taking in now after watching last week's episode. Was Aaron in like a jail? That place just looked grimy, and I think it I think it might have been a jail, which makes sense. He kind of got arrested for disobeying the rules last episode. So I don't know, man. Enough talking. You guys see the links right here. Uh, feel free to hit me up and we can talk some anime. I'm uh, going to be recording a few videos today, so... I don't know how the how the post discussion is going to be, but, you know, Attack on Titans fire. Also, I'm trying some new stuff on OBS, so hopefully sound quality is OK and, you know, all of that is OK. Hope it is. And once again, I was having some issues with Crunchyroll, but I'm going to try my secret link one more time. I hope these these fucking subtitles are OK. Anyways, man, appreciate you guys so much. If you like the video from now, if you haven't already, and let's uh, let's hop into this. Starting in three, two, one. Okay, he was in a jail. Yes, he was. It's just like uh, season three. She's really taking that in. <laughs> Likes the man bun. Season one. Hmm. 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 Yo, have you guys heard the pop smoke? <laughs> yo, have you heard the pop smoke uh, mix of this? Yo, it's fucking hilarious. So this shit slaps. That's all I think now when I hear this song. I was actually bumping it a bit earlier. But uh yeah, I'm liking I'm liking what we're seeing so far, you know? It's it's as we thought, right? It's Aaron's in jail right now. Not a lot of people trust him. And I and I actually do appreciate that conversation that him and not conversation really. That interaction that him and Hanji just had. It reminded me a lot of season 1. It reminded me a lot of um, when they were talking for the first time and she, you know, like she just said, that time you listened to me. And ever since then, I knew you wouldn't sacrifice Historia. Well, she didn't say that specifically, but she knows he's a, he's a good kid. Technically. A little troubled. At least that's what I feel. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know what you think down below, though. Oh, man. I'm expecting another dialogue-heavy episode today, so 
I'm ready just to sit back, relax, and enjoy. So we're on 10. This is 10, because I believe 69 would mean we're on 10, because it's like an episode before, or some shit like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. So she knows what's going in. No. Okay. Here oh, we're gonna get some Mikasa information today. Ooh. She have it like tatted on her. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. So she's like, she's like some type of like big deal royalty, if you will, almost. Hmm. Cause Aaron's her guy, like. <laughs> yeah, she now she connects with her a bit more. That's like the most happy we've seen Aaron in a minute. So I'm going to try and change the lights in the background. I just noticed I forgot to. Hmm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Mm. Mm. 
using the rumbling. I was looking like Pixis. Yeah, we're trying to end all of this. She'd really take that on, eh? This is what we're trying to avoid. That's why Aaron's cheesed. It's the same cycle. So I'm wondering now, where did Aaron switch? Jesus. Whoa, 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 chill, bro. That's Hanji. I don't know about you grabbing up on Hanji like that. Jesus. Erwin. R.I.P. <laughs> who beat who beat it up? So I'm just okay. Yo, why are these niggas talking so much shit? Like why are you why is there always a guy like you around? What?
Yeah. I hate this dude. I'm not liking this. I'm stressed now. I thought we were going to be okay this episode. Hmm. Look at fucking Mikasa, bro. I love how they try to show how strong she is, just low key. Sasha. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tough Armin is not that easy, bro. Mm -hmm. I talked about this. <laughs> it's not that easy, bro. Sasha's treating this like a fucking vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I was going to say. If anything, Jean. Connie's up. <laughs> <laughs> this in This is exactly what I was going to say. And it says you're an idiot, too. <laughs> Man. 
This just makes you miss Sasha more, bro. Mm-hmm. Armin's already down, too. He, like... <laughs> He's never really told him that. Oh, nice drop. Man, oh man, oh man. Yeah. different I was hoping they wouldn't bring this up I'm going to talk about this. You didn't see it the way he saw it, bro. Yeah, facts. They could do whatever they want. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Where the fuck is this thing? Sorry, I'm trying to mute my audio here. One second. Okay, 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 people. Um, let me change my light. Hold on, let me gather my thoughts. Forget it. I, my girlfriend's... I don't know why. She, we're not getting into it. Anyways. Okay. Very interesting episode today. I felt like... Uh, this is the first time this season 
that it's felt like this episode I felt like I had to keep up with it so there's a lot of information it felt like a little rushed I understand though it's you got to get through chapters at the end of the day you know we got to get through chapters we got to get the important information out the way you know so I'm not gonna hate on that definitely just have to do a a rewatch a rewatch like we're all gonna be doing right okay so first thing Mikasa we got some information on her and her past and her lineage uh, to the Hizaru people um, but it's not feeling right you know it's like we we finally got to see oh that Mikasa has this tat I don't know she has some type of thing on her hand um, which I've always I've never noticed it but her hands have always been like covered or at least her wrist you know so we've never had it, it's never really clicked in our heads until now that it was uh, actually bandaged and covered up for a reason so yeah she's uh, connected to these people but I don't trust them they don't seem like they're here for the right intentions they seem like and, and that's how they kind of made it feel at the beginning of the season when we saw um, that lady I can't remember her name now obviously but how she interact with Udo R.I.P. Udo um, we thought that she would be on our side but it doesn't seem that way it seems like they're more I guess they feel bad for the the Aldeans but at the top of their priorities is money you know and resources and stuff like that because that lick of the lips that's not a trustworthy lick you know bro it's not a very trustworthy lick at all um next uh hanji and aaron and their conversation what kind of went on there which was kind of scary i was kind of worried about hanji uh and i feel like that's the first time i've ever felt like aaron has kind of gone too far like it's not even about hanji being a woman or anything like that but that's hanji you know like that's hanji like yeah they can't really do anything against you but i don't know man it's like I don't think, and this kind of encapsulates everything that I wanted to talk about this episode and how I'm kind of feeling about Aaron so far this season. Aaron knows something that everybody else does not know. And if we think about paths, oh, we have to talk about Historia too, fuck. If we talk about paths, you know, we talk about the founding Titan, we talk about Titan memories, it being this thing that is not restricted to time. You can get memories from the future, from the past, from now. You could be in the past and get future memories. You can be in the future and get future, future memories. I think Aaron has to have some type of knowledge. I don't know if he knows everything, but he has to have some type of ability that he knows he's kind of learning as, you know, the years and the days go by that he can kind of see what's already going to happen. Now, in my earlier my earlier reactions when I think I think it was the episode where it was the declaration of war. I questioned whether or not our guys on Paradis had already come to Marley and had a conversation. I believe it was that episode. It might have been the episode before. Because we see Jean already there. We see Aaron already there. And when you look at the declaration of war you we look at willie's speech r.i.p willie he was kind of cool i wish we got a bit more of him but it is what it is the reason why i think they had a conversation before or at least the people of perry d and marley had a conversation before and probably willie might have even been there is because aaron waited until the actual declaration of war and that's why that episode is titled that way declaration of war and also something that may clicked in aaron's head that willie said was i was born into this world or something along those lines which is what we've heard before in this show i believe 
I want to say somebody said it before. I can't, was it Kruger? Was it the original Kruger? It might have been the original Kruger. It might have even been Aaron himself. I can't recall exactly. But yeah, it, it, that kind of clicked with him. But I'm, I'm getting lost in my own thoughts now. So let me get back to it. So when uh, Willie finally decided to declare Aaron Yeager as their enemy and the people of Paradis and declare war, that's when Aaron decided that he was going to make the move. That whole episode it kind of seemed like he was jumping back and forth on whether or not he was going to do it, depending on the things that Willie said. So my theory in my mind is... Like they were just talking about in this episode, their little vacation to Marley infiltrated, you know, set up a base over there is that they did that. They went over there. They did that. They met with a few people. They were able to, you know, kind of work their way around and have some conversations with people. And I guess they wound up in a situation where they were able to actually talk to the higher ups, maybe Willie, maybe um, McGath uh, and other people like that. Whoever the leaders were of Marley at the time, which is most likely be Willie and his family. Um, and kind of figure out, yo, is there any way we can do this peacefully? Just like Armin is trying to say. Maybe they got to link up with uh, the Hisrus or even with Yelena and Zeke and his people on that side. Maybe Zeke was able to set that up. That's why Aaron had the baseball. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but I'm thinking they had a conversation before. It didn't go the way that they wanted. They left Marley to try and come up with some type of plan or, you know, say, you know what? These guys don't want to work with it. So we need to stack up on our defenses. That's when they probably started working on their new uniforms, uh, making the, uh, the, the lightning thing. What are they called? The thunder, whatever's thunder spears. They made an advancement in that added the guns to the gear so that they could possibly fight in war. Almost like they were saying in this episode when they said they wanted to, wanted the his roots to kind of help out with that situation you know train them up on the battlefront or the battlefield so they can handle things without having to use the titans or the rumbling and so yeah it's looking that they went that direction and then what aaron maybe decided to do is maybe he didn't go back maybe he ended up staying back or he l left parody or something one of the two he either never left marley or he left Perry D after they had already arrived back in Perry D and he went about his plan and I'm thinking he, the only reason why he went about that plan is because he has to have some type of he must have seen something in the future or in the past or something like that you know he has these memories and I also didn't want this conversation to be long today but uh, we're going in that direction so let me try to wrap up my thoughts because I feel like I'm not fully getting to the point but you kind of understand what I'm saying right Aaron has to see, has to have seen something from the future or something that has led him to go on this path of, I'm going to take the weight of the world and put it on my shoulders. I'm, I'm going to be the bad guy so that we can go about finding this peace that Armin, for example, is looking for and freeing his people and making sure that the people that he cares about at least are protected. I don't know about the rest of the world. So I feel like that's what it is with Armin. I mean, not Armin, uh, with Aaron. It's it's he's making these moves because he knows that it'll bring about what he wants, even though he knows it's going to cost lives. It's going to cost relationships it's almost like and i don't want to say this because i don't want to compare the two lelouch lelouch becomes the bad guy oh sorry nah. if you haven't watched code geass that's your fault lelouch becomes the bad guy in code geass to become the if you will the the good guy or the 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 what do you call it it's almost like the sacrificial lamb, you know what I mean? It's because of Lelouch in Code Geass why certain things are able to be good and people are able to prosper towards the end of that series, you know? And I feel like that's what Aaron's going to have to do. I don't see Aaron coming out of this situation, us getting to the end of this series with Aaron 
living. But I feel like it'll be fine because it's on his terms. He's, he'll be like, you know what? I got all these titans in me or whatever. I've, I've gunned off all these people. I've fucked up all these places. But it was to bring about peace for the Eldians at the bare minimum. And that's where his plan kind of aligns with Zeke. Zeke, from what we are now understanding, is he just wants to free the Eldians. But how he wants to free the Eldians, we don't fully understand. I don't fully trust Zeke and his people. I don't like that shot of uh, the guy that was getting talked down to by the uh, the people on Paradise when he went down to the wine cellar. They grabbed the wine. Like, Is there poison in the wine? I don't know. I didn't like what Niccolo was kind of doing there. That's the first time I didn't trust Niccolo when he just brought out the wine. He's like, is it this? This special one? You know? So we're definitely going to have to look at that again because that's just kind of creepy. But I don't have any information regarding that yet. But I'm not fully trusting Zeke and his people on this side yet. And that's totally fine. We're not supposed to. But um, everyone's kind of acting weird. There's this weird, this is weird tension in the air. And that's the whole point of you killing off Sasha, you know? You kill Sasha to remove the comedic aspect of the show. It's the dying... The death of Sasha is the death of... Laughs. <laughs> it's the death of, you know, fun times. It's It brings us into some more serious type of stuff. And I that's what Sasha's death kind of represents to me. It's... We're, no, we're, we're moving away from... The good times and we're moving into some dark 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 times right now and that's just how it has to be because aaron sees it that way you know hysteria is pregnant as well which is crazy i don't trust that it's that guy that they're trying to that they're trying to put on us the farmer dude i don't trust it but it might be him what if it was aaron's kid you know and they're just trying to you know switch it up what if it was aaron's kid because they're like they cut from that and aaron so quickly it was weird it was weird i don't know does aaron fuck with historia like that though you know yes he genuinely cares about her but is that just because like she's his friend you know they went to they grew up together in the survey corps is that because he actually has feelings you know i feel like if anything she had more of a crush on him than he had on her and that's just because of uh, season three stuff, you know, uh, when uh, they were walking together, talking, and then Mikasa kind of butted in. I don't know, man. This episode was weirdly unsettling. Weirdly unsettling. We got a lot of information, though. We saw some weird moves by a, a few people. I don't trust Zeke's team right now. I don't trust Aaron, but I feel like we're going to understand Aaron by the end of this whole series. And that's the thing. I feel like Aaron's going to go to some type of extremes. He's going to some type of extremes. He's going to go to the most extreme. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. He's going to make extreme choices, very extreme choices that people aren't going to align with. But I feel like it's going to be for the better. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of life will be lost, though. A lot of life will be lost for sure. So yeah, man, I think I'm gonna end it here. I just talked a bit longer than I wanted to for this because I still got a bunch of other videos to do, but it is what it is. Um, thank you for watching. And if you did stick to the uh, discussion all the way to this part, I really do appreciate you. Uh, feel free, please, if you haven't already, like the video helps me get my video out there some more. Um, subscribe if you haven't already we're going to be doing a there's going to be more discussion time so i just want to have some good talk so feel free to comment down below as well let me know what you guys think uh if any theories or anything like that uh, that you guys may have hmm very interesting episode very interesting i'll catch you guys in the next